Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you two different menus that you can add to your Wix website. Now in a previous video for our Wix principles series, I did mention that you typically only wanna have maybe four or five, max six different links to other pages inside of your menu. You really don't wanna overload your menu, but in those rare cases where it actually is necessary, I have noticed that there are two different menus that you can add. The first one you're probably all pretty familiar with. So if I just add this themed menu out onto the page like this, and I shrink down the website or shrink down this uh, element, you'll notice that after a certain point, it just converts over to more or it just changes to more and it's just a drop down with other ones. So if I press preview real quick, we'll notice when I hover over more, it's going to display the other pages that we can go to. Now, personally, I really don't like this because it just seems like it's done on accident and a little unprofessional. So if you have to have a bunch of different pages on your website, then what you can do is use a different menu. So we'll come over to add menu anchors, and then we'll choose a horizontal menu. So if we add this to our header, you'll notice that instead of it getting cut off, it wraps. So we have this option here where our content wraps and we can make this as big or small as we want. But if we go into the settings here for layout, we'll actually have another option for scroll. So let's just say it's a short menu. Then instead of having that more option, our users can press this and just scroll over and then scroll back. In my opinion, I would almost prefer this method of a menu rather than having that more option that seems more like an accident. This one seems like it's at least done on purpose and makes it seem like it's a really cool effect that you purposefully added to your website. So if you are one of the very few people that need to have a lot of links in your header to different pages, then I do think that this would be a fantastic option for you. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's little quick tip. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.